they place your foot trod, you'll possess the land. We understood that. And we had trotted these lands, so it was time for us to possess it. When long before Lord Town and Ellen Murray came here and started this here Penn School right here. Can you imagine education for folks that were, even if they even attempted to learn how to read and write, tongues could be cut out, eyes said, lashing and even hung on these very same trees for attempting to learn how to read and write. But out of the ashes, tell your neighbor, say out of the ashes, hope always will arise. Say out of the ashes, hope will arise. Oh, y'all ain't saying it like y'all understand. Say out of the ashes, hope arise. And if our four parents, out of the ashes of slavery, and the Civil War could see hope. Why are we walking around today as if a people without hope? Oh, said out of the ashes, hope arise. That has to be our decree. That has to be our declaration. And shortly after Laura Town and Ellen Murray came Charlotte Fortin, the first colored person coming to teach the word to read and to reading the word. Y'all got me? You learn how to read the reading and word the word. That's right. If I just knew one X, I'm gonna teach you that one X. If somebody teach me an A, I'll teach it to you. Teach one. Whatever we know, we have to tell it to our young people. It don't matter if they ain't want to head, who care? Did your grandmammy care that you ain't want to hear a whole lot of stuff they had say? No, they ain't care. What, what, is, what, what is wrong with you peoples? Why did y'all say, what well, the journey, what they ain't want to do? <laughs> Did I ask them? No, I don't ask them. I tell you what you gonna do now. And that's that. Don't make grandmama accidentally fall on you, then it's not called child abuse. <laughs> Hallelujah. Y'all say a hallelujah up in here. Hallelujah. Before it was called child abuse, we didn't have them being locked up Amen. for no reason. Amen. Amen. Before it was called child abuse, the teachers didn't have to call us all day long. Amen. Before it was called child abuse. Before it was called child abuse, we knew how to say yes ma'am and no ma'am. Thank you ma'am, please ma'am, good evening ma'am. Good morning sir. That's right. Before it was called child abuse. We got to go back to the old landmark. That's why these festivals are so important. We got to teach it to our children. There's a whole book in the Bible called Numbers. You know so and so begat so and so. Tell your neighbor and so and so begat that. And that begat so and so. And that begat that too. So you just be begatting all over the place. So it says begatting is important to God. It ought to be begatting ought to be good to us. So we had to tell the children who begat who begat. Even them little dark secrets that Jane won't tell them who your daddy is. Now this is who they say your daddy is, but this is who your daddy really is. I ain't trying to tell your mama business, but that's just the truth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Don't wait till the boy try to need a blood transfusion and the daddy he thought that he couldn't give him nothing. Praise the Lord. Tell the truth. Don't wait till he done dead at the funeral and everybody crying and everybody crying over LB. And then you see CW coming and JR and CR and... KC and everybody come and say, who all these journeys, who they belongs to? All them belong to him. <laughs> That's all I got to say. But soon tell your neighbor, say, what happened on January 1st? 1863. Now if that smartphone ain't telling you nothing, it's time to give it up. And let it go. But now here it is now. We were even though November 7th, 1861, gave us our physical freedom. We were still considered only contraband to the Northern Union troops. But it wasn't until January the 1st, 1863, when President Abe Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation was read. Over there on the old Smith Joyner cotton plantation, which soon became Cap Saxton 
for the colored, U.S. colored troops. We know it today as the Naval Hospital, but it was at that very place where they had picked the cotton and processed the cotton and got the weapons and later occupied as U.S. colored troops that now for the first time they were hearing that now you are no longer Union soldier contrabands, but you are now citizens of these United States. And as that Emancipation Proclamation was read by Dr. Brisbane, a former slave owner who had sold his slaves here from Beaufort County, then went back and bought every one of them back and gave that freedom and was one of the leading abolitionists in this part of the country. He read those precious words. They say, all of we is created equal. Ain't nothing no better than the other. I ain't no better than honor, and honor ain't no better than me. We's all created equal. And all them there, Negroes held in bondage, and them there rebellious state is now and forever free. And you had U.S. Colored Troop, Sergeant Prince Rivers, born right here on Coosaw Island, and Corporal Robert Sutton, born in Edgefield, both escaping and becoming part of the U.S. Colored Troops. As it was read, their white commanding officer, Colonel Higginson, came and gave them the colors, the flag of the United States of America. And they said as the flags were passed from the white hand to the black hand, you heard a voice coming out of the singing, my country, tis of thee. in them rebellious states. But soon, April 9th, 1865 arrived and the Civil War was over. And we were free, free indeed. And you heard the Africans sing, ring them bells, chillin', ring them bells. Ring them bells, chillin', ring them bells. Jesus born in Bethlehem, him be the great I am. Them bells, chillin, ring them bells. Put your hands together, come on. Ring them bells, ring them bells. Chillin, ring them bells. Ring them bells, chillin, ring them bells. Ah, we send you food for free, we bring we peace and liberty. 
Christmas before the Civil War. We put all that history on stage of all the excitement that would have been going on on these hair plantations. You don't want to miss it. And if you can't come back, tell somebody. Tell them to look us up on Facebook and come on and see us. And we do have a few DVDs for sale. Y'all come on and buy because I need to buy my, churn, my grandchildren some fish sandwiches and stuff. So you need to come on and buy it. Praise the Lord. I ain't got nothing but a few. Hallelujah. And like, you know, and Tyler Perry got more money than me, so you know, if y'all don't bootleg his, please don't bootleg my praise. God bless you and I love you. Thank you, um, Mr. Lawrence and the parents.